Hello, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons and I'm going to make some bechamel sauce for you. This is another classic sauce, very good for going on top of a lasagna, put cheese in it, uh, macaroni cheese, cauliflower cheese, etc, etc, parsley, parsley sauce to go with a nice baked ham. Come a bit closer and I will run you through the ingredients. So I've got a combination of cheddar and parmigiano reggiano, some butter, plain flour, milk and that's it there's a cheese grater and a pan so we'll go over to the stove and we'll start cooking this get the gas lit so the first part always you're going to make the roux first of all melt the butter I'm going to speed this up so it looks wicked there you go look at that I am very childish. These things amuse me. Once the butter is melted, whack the flour in. There it goes. Now, I'm going to stress how important and how strongly I feel about not using a whisk to make a bechamel. It is not necessary. It helps if you've got a pan like this, which is quite non-stick, and definitely one of these rubber spatulas that are heat resistant as well. So first of all, stir the flour and the butter in to make the roux. Once that's combined, you can add the milk. A classic bechamel, I would have had the milk warming with a bit of bay leaf in there, some onion and some cloves, but hey, it doesn't make that much difference to be honest with you. Um, the warm milk is easier to mix in with the roux. Now this bit's crucial, pay attention. Do not go in there and try to stir this in quickly. Move the roux around, try to keep the roux that you've already got together and let it gather up the milk. If you do this, if you follow these instructions, you will have the smoothest bechamel ever. If you go in there with a whisk, you'll never get it as smooth as if you do it this way. And also, if you use a whisk, you're gonna wreck your pan and you're gonna run the risk of having a slightly metallic flavor in your sauce. So trust me, even if you see the best chefs using a whisk, tell them Uncle Matt said no. Okay, I think I've stressed that point enough. So I'm getting a bit more vigorous now. Now that it feels like I've got the milk mostly combined, now you want to beat it really smooth. So don't add any more milk now until you've got a, a really velvety smooth consistency. We're looking like we're nearly there now. Time for a bit more milk. Never put too much in one go. You're going to add milk three or four times at least when you do this. Be patient, take your time, continue to stir like I did earlier. Just move this roux around, try to let it gather up the milk. Okay, you're not going to want the whole process, it just takes ages, believe me, but it's just repeating, repeating, repeating. It gets easier as you get nearer the end as well. So next time I come speak to you, we'll be almost there.
right at the end now, just the last little drop of milk to go in. It's taken about 20 minutes to get to this stage, that's why I've just cut through a lot of it and speeded it up, because it would be very dull to watch. But we're getting right near the end now, I'm going to chuck the cheese in in a minute. You can keep this as a plain bechamel non-cheese sauce, but I want to use, I want to make a cheesy sauce. Now I'm putting half this cheddar in, and I'm going to put half the parmesan in. Parmesan in. I'm actually going to be making a lasagna with this white sauce, which there'll be another video for. I'm keeping a little bit of the cheese back to go on the top of it. There's the parmesan. Really, just need to combine this now. Make sure it's really thoroughly melted in as third, and then just you'll have a very, very thick, rich, velvety, cheesy sauce. Absolutely delicious. I hope you found this video useful and informative and entertaining. If so, please do let me know in the comments below. Any questions, I'll be more than happy to respond to. And if you wouldn't mind, why not subscribe? Give me a thumbs up. All of those things that will help this channel grow a little bit. And then I can continue to make you very informative videos like this one. It's obvious, really. Anyway, thanks again. See you in the next episode of Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. Goodbye.